Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is if 51% population carry at least one copy of recessive allele, then find frequency of the dominant allele, what is the predicted frequency of individuals in the population that express the dominant and recessive phenotype. In order to solve this problem, all you need to know is Hardy-Weinberg formula, where frequency of the three genotypes that can be made uh, with two alleles would equal to p squared plus 2pq plus q squared and all this would equal to 1. So here we have two alleles and for example for the genotype p squared this is going to be genotype capital A capital A or homozygous dominant for 2pq it's going to be heterozygous genotype if you get used to uh, alleles uh, dominant and recessive allele A. So, and for Q squared, it's going to be homozygous recessive genotype. And as you see, these three genotypes are made by two alleles P and Q. So, if we combine them, the frequency would equal to 1 or 100%. So, 1 equal to 100%. And in this formula, P stands for the dominant allele and Q stands for the recessive allele A. So we are told that these two genotypes uh, make 51%. Take a look. Uh, if 51% of the population carry at least one copy, at least one copy. So this is going to be this genotype because it uh, has at least one copy and also going to be this genotype because it also has at least one copy of recessive allele. So these two genotypes make 51%. That tell us that this genotype and phenotype would make another 49%. So mass is very simple. And if we know that uh, this genotype, which is homozygous dominant, makes 49%, and 49%, according to what I have explained here, so 49% would equal to 0.49 and 51 would equal to 0.51 on the scale between 0 and 1. In order to find the frequency of the allele P or dominant allele A, all we have to do, so P would equal to square root of P squared. So square root of P squared, which equal to 0 0.49, would be 0 0.7. So now we know the frequency of the dominant allele P, which is 0 0.7. And we instantly know the frequency of the recessive allele Q or A, which is going to be 0 0.3. Now we know frequency of both uh, dominant and recessive allele. So uh, we need to give to find a frequency of the dominant allele. And this is going to be frequency of the dominant allele. What else? What is the predicted frequency of individuals in a population that express dominant and recessive phenotype? And now let's find the frequency of this heterozygotes because heterozygotes and homozygous dominant would make one phenotype which is dominant phenotype. So uh, frequency is given to PQ again P stands for the frequency of the dominant allele and Q for the frequency of the recessive allele and this is equal to 2 multiplied by 0 0.7 and by uh, 0 
0.3. 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.7 would be 0 0.21 and multiplied by 2 would be 0 0.42. So frequency of the heterozygous genotype is 42%. 0 0.42 equal to uh, 42%. We just, in order to convert to percentages, we just have to multiply by 100 and we are going to get 42%. So we can do our calculations on both scales between 0 and 1 and we also can use percentages, but it's uh, more convenient to do all calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. So if you know that the frequency of the heterozygous genotype is 0 0.42, 0 0.42, and we know that frequency of the uh, homozygous dominant genotype is 0 0.49. We can say that frequency of the recessive genotype is going to be, so uh, combine these two numbers, going to be 91% um, or 0 point zero point ninety one then here we are going to have zero point uh, zero nine so uh, this is equal to nine percent again we just have to multiply this number by one hundred in order to convert into percent form and here we have ninety one percent frequency of the dominant phenotype again frequency of the recessive phenotype is nine percent frequency of the dominant phenotype is 91 percent frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype is 49 percent frequency of the heterozygous genotype is 42 percent and frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype is 9% and this genotype also make a distinctive group of a recessive phenotype. So now we have answered all the questions and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.